So in this video, I'll be talking about machine learning uh, and machine learning in general, which is the second part of the of the diagram I showed before. So here I'll be talking about an introduction. Let's say we have data. So okay, we have a lot of data, and then we uh, so in machine learning, what we do with that data is basically we we learn a model. Uh, think of a model like a file or something that we'll we'll use later to uh, predict uh, the future. So and then we will have like some kind of future data, and then we feed that data to the model that we trained before, and then we predict the answer using that model. So basically, uh, let's take an example. Let's say we want to build a question and answering system uh, based on machine learning. So what we do is basically we feed the uh, we take a very big uh, data set of questions uh, with their answers or, or without answers. It depends on uh, what task. Uh, we will talk about this later. We feed this to the model and then we use that model to predict answers for future questions. So this is how basically uh, machine learning works. So why machine learning is basically there are many tasks that human can do and uh, we use machine learning to solve these uh, undoable tasks. For example, predicting uh, the rainfall uh, for two months, three months uh, before it happens. So it, it could be, uh, there are many other tasks, like for example, astronomic discovery, drug design, the stuff that the humans can do, and uh, machine learning could help us a lot uh, in doing that. Uh, for example, also a very famous uh, topic these days, which is uh, cancer discovery, and it could save lives. So it's, uh, machine learning could uh, be very helpful in our daily life and our uh, safety. Uh, so uh, there are so many related fields to machine learning. Almost nowadays, almost every uh, topic that that is not used to be related to uh, computer science nowadays is uh, somehow related to computer science due to machine learning. For example, uh, we have uh, uh, psychological models, uh, control theory, neuroscience, uh, cognitive science, and so many other uh, machine learning. Uh, I mean, uh, other related topics to machine learning these days, and um, uh, it, the field keeps getting bigger and bigger. The more uh, the more we discover machine learning. So this is uh, a difference between uh, traditional programming and machine learning. Before the 19, let's say the 1970s or 80s, we had no machine learning back then. It was just a fantasy. We wanted to imitate uh, imitate uh, robots, but we um, it was just a fantasy. Well, we didn't think we would do that. We didn't know how to do that. We just had like some simple, very very simple computers that could do uh, like calculator stuff, calculating stuff, but it didn't learn anything at that time. So, <clears throat> so what? How we did that is basically we give the data, and then we make a program for the data, and then the program will give us an output. So think of like basically a calculator, you give uh, the data to the calculator, you make a program inside the calculator, and then it will give you an output. Uh, nowadays, it is a little bit different. Nowadays, we, we are learning how to do that. Basically, uh, we will give the data, we give an output for that data, and then we will learn a program. It is 